Now, what I'm trying to figure out is why Vice News is trying to pretend as though they want to have a debate when in reality, what they're actually trying to arrange is a propaganda exposition of their propaganda. They're giving you the illusion of diversity. Oh, let's bring on a token Asian guy. We're going to bring on a dude in a dress. We're going to bring on a Texas cowboy. We got to bring on a black guy because we're we're white liberals. We love the blacks. Psych! We actually hate the blacks and we hate everything they stand for, particularly their culture. But as long as they say the things that we think, we're cool with you, buddy. As long as you act like us, you speak like us, you talk like us. And by us, I mean a white liberal woman. We see what the white male has been reduced to. This way, this right here. And that's why they hated Donald Trump, because Donald Trump was a reminder of what white men used to be. Rulers in the society, powerful, wealthy, masculine. And in you know Donald Trump, they see a real determined enemy. And so that's what the liberals do. They they remove a Donald Trump and they throw in this fella right here who looks completely outrageous and is clearly mentally unwell. I have an eight-year-old son and I'm seeing him absorb what manliness might mean. I, like Not I'm you. thinking to Not myself, you. like what does it mean to be a man? To start, maybe know. we could just introduce <laughs> each other know. to each other. And if you- Why does he talk like a liberal white woman? You might be like, Mark, what you're, what are you talking about? I'll, I'll rewind it. I'll show you. Women have never spoken with the same level of authority that a man speaks with. It's not in their nature. They speak in uptone. We speak in downtone, which is to say at the end of our sentence, you're clear that it was a comment or a statement. Conversely, at the end of their sentence, it's uh, uncertainty that's expressed. It, it might be a comment. But it might sound like a question because it's spoken in uptone. And this fellow who might be Indian, might be Pakistani, hell, he might even be from Bangladesh. But what he really is is a liberal white woman, and you can tell in his speech patterns. And this is one of those folks who have uh, suffered white supremacy, and they actually want to be white more than anything. He has nothing to suggest that he has any culture other than the culture of the liberal white woman. There is no culture on this dude right here. His great effort is to blend in. You see, a melting pot, it melted away his culture. It melted away his heritage. It melted away his virtue and values. And now he's just left there as a liberal white woman, a weakling, a lost soul. Be a man. To start, maybe we could just introduce each other. Just observe the utter lack of masculinity. It is no surprise that they have this guy there because their effort is to redefine what a man is away from its true definition such that the lost people, uh, Skittle Guzzlers, the lost people can make you feel as though they are normal when they are not normal. And that is why they've included a grown male who's wearing go-go hooker boots and a black dress and has his legs cro uh, crossed over, squishing his scrotum and looks completely Looney Tunes. And I want to hear what the black guy says, because it's never a normal black guy that I've met in real life. It's always a black. Guy. I'm like, where did they get this from? Because I ain't never met that guy in the hood. This is the guy that grew up among them. He's one of theirs. What manliness might mean. That's woman hand gesturing right there. The female, she does speak in uptone because she has uncertainty. And the female mind often has many things on it at once. If you were to describe what it means to be a man or to be masculine. Uh, my name is Tahoe. How funny is that? We're asking a dude in a dress to describe what it is to be masculine. We're asking a dude in a dress what it is to be masculine. We're asking a guy in a dress what it is to be masculine. Look, look. This is when there's so many crazy people that to be not crazy looks crazy. There's so many crazy people. If you're not crazy, you look crazy. And if you're not crazy, you're going to go crazy because everybody's crazy. It's the new normal. He just asked a, a man in a dress what it is to be masculine. All righty.
though, I'm a black man. No, you're from the me. hood. When I was young, wait, wait. I'm a black man from the hood. Whose introduction is that? I don't even hear rappers say stuff like that. Yo, yo, I'm a black man from the hood. That's such an idiotic low self view. I'm a black man from the hood. Does that mean you're still there? If you're still there, it's probably because you're dim with it. You couldn't get out. What is the hood? It's not the natural habitat of black people. That's not what the hood is. Just like, you know, maybe like the ocean is the natural habitat of a great white shark. The hood is not the natural habitat of black people. So if you're still there, it's because it's where you deserve to be because you don't have the ingenuity, discipline, morals, and intelligence to get out of it, okay? When you say from the hood, it's fine if you were born in the hood. I'm like, me too. I'm not still there. If you describe yourself as a black man from the hood, oh, that speaks very poorly of you. And I would ask you politely to stop associating my racial category and ethnic group with poverty. Kareem says this is gold. Yeah, because we're asking a dude in a dress what masculinity is. Uh, my name is Tahoe. I'm a black man from the hood and first off i want you all to notice something that this is clearly stage managed if it wasn't stage managed the question would have been who's going to speak first so clearly they've done a lot of cutting and editing already this is not playing through unedited because it, there was no question of who's going to speak first they didn't draw straws they didn't raise hands they just went straight to this guy oh let's get in the diversity candidate straight away oh yeah i'm a black guy from the hood uh, thanks little buddy First off, did you really need to say you're a black guy? I could have sworn we all noticed that. And secondly, you're from the hood. Well, I'm sure by the time you start saying dumb things, we would imagine that's where you live. Carrying on. When I was young, being a man, you had to be tough. You had to be hard. And now, to me, being a man is a lot different. Now, to me, being a man is knowing when to be soft. Knowing that you don't always have to run the charge. You can actually... Being a man is when you say is you're speaking of definition you're speaking of equivalence being a man is knowing when to be soft that's why we shouldn't listen to idiots and average people give their perspective on things that could be uh complex being a man is knowing when to be soft linguistically that would suggest that all other times you're being hard which negates your previous statement you're a fool. You shouldn't even be here. Listen, you know what I mean? So things have you know what I mean? No, buddy. I don't know what you mean. In fact, you don't even know what you mean. And let us be clear. The only reason you're there is because you're a friend of some liberal white person who's connected to Vice. And when Vice was sitting around with all of their, their marketing people like, hey, I got a great idea. Those debates are doing really well. We did the one for women. Let's do the one for guys. Yeah. Hey, do you got, you, you got, you know, a Latino, you know, a, Ch a Chicano, you know, a Latin X, La Raza. Great, Bobby. All right, Bobby, you call up Jose. Oh, you know, an Asian. Fantastic. You call it Ping Ling. All right, great. Yeah, get ping pong together and we'll, yeah, fantastic. Oh, you know a black guy? Really? I'm surprised at you, John. You know a black guy? Huh. Okay, well, you bring Tyrone and we're going to do this. It's going to be great. So you're connected to some liberal white person because no one on this panel was chosen at random. Oculus said, I wish you were on these panels just so we could see you intellectually nuke and destroy the entire panel. We need to we need to lobby Vice and say, hey, next panel, you need a black guy. Bring on the Saint in the center. 